So think of Mozart writing a rom-com set to music, but definitely not painting. The Dallas Opera presents Cosi Van Tutti featuring Dallas's favorite and Grammy Award winner Lucas Meacham. And we welcome Lucas to Midday right now. Lucas, thanks for joining us. Thanks. What a great intro. I appreciate that. <laughs> so this production is new to Dallas. Tell us a little bit about what this opera is all about. And I understand there's a little bit of a fresh take on it. There is a fresh take on it, but to start with, the opera is about a bet between guys in a locker room to say, hey, do you think that if I really pushed it, do you think your girlfriends would actually be faithful to you? Because we are over overselling the fact that our girlfriends are basically based on these famous goddesses of love and they're absolutely <laughs> pillars of fidelity. And he says, you know, let's just put that to the test. And that's exactly what Cosi Fan Tutte is all about. Okay, so what role do you play in that drama? Because it sounds like there's some potential there for some intrigue, love tri triangles and whatnot. Yeah, there's some definitely intrigue, some hijinks, and some all sorts of uh, duplicity. As a matter of fact, we, uh, we come out, you can see us there in our mustaches. We come out in these incredible fur coats and costumes with mustaches, and we pretend to be other people, and we end up seducing our friend, our best friend's girlfriend, and seeing if they'll fall for it. And, uh, and as the title says, Cosi Fan Tutti in Italian translates to, they're all like that, meaning that they're all going to be unfaithful. But there is a very good fresh take on this that uh, I think uh, really humanizes the entire opera in a way that anyone could understand. So let's talk about your background a little bit. How did you first become interested in opera? Oh my God, well, we gotta go back. I, I kind of, came out singing, you know, I, I always sang. It was always something I was just felt like I was naturally good at. And I also have this weird thing where I, like a lot of people, if they speak in public or they do something embarrassing, they get embarrassed. I don't have that. I don't know that connection doesn't make itself a present in my brain. So like I can get up and do anything and be like, well, that failed, that succeeded and not worry about it at all. So I'd say the most important thing, though, was my mother gave me a three tenors tape for Christmas when I was in high school. Hmm. And when I would listen to the radio. I could imitate almost anyone. And all of a sudden, she gave me this tape, and I couldn't come close to touching these guys, these Pavarotti and uh, uh, Placido Domingo and Jose Carreras. And I thought, wow, this is really intriguing. And it's the first time I listened to opera and thought, maybe I should try and do that. OK, so you just told us how interesting this opera is. Is this your favorite one, kind of? Which one is your all-time favorite to perform in? Well, I often give the answer when asked this question that it's the one I'm currently doing, but I also want to say that Mozart is indeed my favorite composer, and this is an opera by Mozart, and it's really absolutely... I I'll tell you this, if you had a five-CD set, of course, I'm aging myself talking about a CD set, but if you had a five-CD set of the greatest <laughs> hits of opera, Cosi Fan Tutte could fill one of those CDs. So it's really just, you're gonna come for beautiful music and you're gonna be surprised by the amazing, I've got, count them, I've got nine costume changes in this, this. I mean, you can see them sort of popping up on the screen here. I've got nine costume changes to deal with backstage and it's just, it's a, a romp to the finish line and you're gonna roll on the floor laughing and you're gonna, you know, walk away with your hearts filled. I still listen to CDs, so you're not dating yourself with me at least. But the Dallas Opera just announced the new season, including three more new to Dallas productions. You'll be back in a long-awaited world premiere. Real quick, tell us about that. Real quick, well, it's a, it's a world premiere. And the most important thing is this, this type of world premiere should be happening in, in New York or London or, or Paris or Milan. And it's happening right here in Dallas. They put a star-studded cast together, an amazing crew, and it's called The Diving Bell and the Butterfly. It's based off of an amazing story of this man who ends up having a, uh, a stroke and ends up getting this syndrome called locked-in syndrome, where the only thing that function is his mind, and he's fully functional, fully capable in his mind. He ends up writing this book, and this is based off of that book that he writes. The only part of his body he can move is his left eye, and he blinks out through this system of speaking using letters, the most common letters used in the alphabet. He, he ends up writing this amazing book that wins all these awards and sells, uh, becomes a bestseller throughout Europe, and this is what this opera is based on. And I play the role of Jean-Dominique Bobby, who is the uh, title character in this piece. We look forward to seeing you on stage. Thank you very much, Lucas Meacham. Keep those girlfriends faithful on the stage, OK? <laughs> <laughs> Cosi Van Tutti opens tomorrow at the Winspear Opera House, the first of four performances. For tickets and information on the upcoming new season, go to dallasopera.org.